Okay, welcome back guys. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to induce a lucid dream in two and a half seconds. Now, before, um, I actually did a video called how to lucid dream in nine seconds. And that was very much about the, you know, the finger induced lucid dreaming technique where you imagine moving your fingers very slightly um, and then you actually don't move them at all. And what this does is it makes your subconscious mind focus on a task that you're trying to do. Uh, which lets you sort of distract yourself while you enter sleep paralysis and then enter a lucid dream via the wake-induced lucid dream method. This is a little bit different, okay? So what we're going to do here, when I say induce a lucid dream in two and a half seconds, what I mean by that is that you're going to, with this method, you're going to be able to induce a lucid dream pretty much instantly, okay? So, you know, the two and a half seconds, that's a sort of an average amount of time, but really it's going to be faster than that because you'll already be in a lucid dream. Okay. Now, before we go any further, just sort of try and, you know, not let yourself get distracted as we just talk about this, because it's easy to put on a video like this and just, you know, look at your phone or whatever. So just pay attention just for a, for a minute or two. And I'm going to explain how you can induce a lucid dream instantly, how, how you can, you know, immediately enter a lucid dream without even really trying. You know, you don't have to do any sort of technique. You don't have to practice anything. You don't have to do a reality check, although you can, you know, if you want to. Um, and it's, you know, more of a natural, uh, sort of easy, especially for beginners, uh, an easy technique which doesn't require you to practice anything in particular. I mean, obviously you have to do a few things, but once you've built them into your daily habits and your routines, you know, you won't really need to do anything. It's sort of passive at this point. So the first step to this, okay, and I'm not really going to call it a method, I'm just going to call it the, you know, the way that you can use this method to lucid dream the way you can use this sort of collection of ideas. The first thing you need to do is to, every morning when you wake up, you go through a, a sort of lucid dreaming morning routine. Um, so the first thing you do in your morning routine would be to, you know, check that you're awake, have a look around, and then do a reality check. One of the best times to do a reality check is actually as soon as you wake up, because quite often people have false awakenings, and it's a result of them not really knowing whether they're awake or asleep, in that sort of early morning stage, you know, you're sort of on autopilot. Some people even don't remember getting up, making breakfast and driving to work. Uh, and that's sort of the, the higher end of the spectrum of autopilot in the mornings. Um, but so yeah, basically, as soon as you wake up, do a reality check, you know, it may, whether it's the pushing your finger through the palm, whether it's pinching your nose, whether it's reading some text, whatever it is, just do a reality check as soon as you wake up in the morning. Um, and then go about the routine as you know, as you would. So do the reality check, wake up, uh, write your dreams down in your journal, you know, whatever you can remember, um, and then go downstairs or upstairs, whatever, get a drink, because um, obviously when you've just slept for eight hours, you're going to be dehydrated, and that's not going to be good for um, anything, really. So after you've done that, have just take five minutes to yourself and meditate. And when I say meditate, I don't mean, you know, practice any mantra or anything like that. I mean, just Focus on only your breathing. Count your breaths from 1 to 10, okay? Set a timer for 10 minutes on your phone. That's what it takes, really, 5 to 10 minutes in the morning. And just count your breaths, okay? So just count 1 with the in-breath, 2 with the exhale, and so on until you get to 10. When you get to 10, just start again at 0 again, right? And that's really all you need to do in order to meditate uh, and, and have it help you lucid dream because it's really simple. You're just taking some time out from the business of your daily life just to go back to your mind and to that calmness. Now, there are many ways that you could incorporate this morning routine. You could either just do those things or you could do those things and then also read, say, uh, a lucid dreaming fiction book or a, a dream journal entry from the previous day or from a year ago even. The point is that you're making sure that the first thing you do in the morning, so the first thing you do with your day is to think about lucid dreaming and, and awareness. And that will sort of seep into other areas of your life. You'll feel more relaxed and alert. Uh, and it'll just make everything better, really. So that's the first step. I know it's a bit complicated. So the morning routine uh, that I've just described, that is the first step of this, uh, as I said, I'm not going to call it a method, but this sort of collection of ideas that will help you lucid dream instantly in, in two and a half seconds, as the title says. <laughs> so you've got the morning routine, the lucid dream and morning routine. Then you've got your reality checks, which you should be doing every day anyway, right? So you've got the pushing your finger through the palm, uh, you've got pinching your nose, you've got looking at text, you've got all these sorts of things 
that you can use as triggers or you know prompts to do a reality check and you need to remember how to do these now you can either put little stickers or post-it notes around your house or you can make a reminder on your phone however you want to do it just make sure you do a reality check about 10 to 20 times every day D different every day obviously because sometimes you forget or sometimes you're busy or it's weird to do a reality check if you're in the middle of an office or something but just try and do them about 10 to 20 times a day now in the evening when you go to bed this is the third stage of this sort of collection of ideas go through the same morning routine that you did at the start of the day but sort of in reverse so how, whichever order you did it in the morning do it in the reverse order so that the last thing you do before going to bed is a reality check and with these sort of with this collection of sort of ideas that you can see here you'll start to have natural lucid dreams that you won't really need to try and have they'll just sort of happen um, hence the title you know induce a lucid dream in two and a half seconds it'll be quicker than that it'll be almost instant because your mind and your especially your subconscious mind will be trained um, to just enter a lucid dream and just to become naturally alert and lucid while you're sleeping so I hope that helps guys and if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like and subscribe um, obviously leave a comment and I'll see you next time